most important point you have to address when you meet uh, an investor or when he's looking at you is your team. Because as you know, when you evaluate the startup, when you discuss how much is it worth, it's very difficult because you don't have seven years balance sheets or it also if you use discounted cash flow methods, which you normally use when you buy a company or invest in a traditional corporate company, in a startup you don't have this. So it's really, it's you, it's the team, it's the personalities of the team who are convincing an investor or a business angel to invest in your company. Therefore, this is very, very important to understand. There are a lot of very important business angels who say they don't invest in the business model, they really invest in the team. Because normally also business models change over the feed with feedback from the market and other stuff. So it's very important that you're aware of this, that you have a very good team. Also now to the numbers, sometimes it's better to have several guys. So some investors like more to invest not in a single person, but in two or three guys because you also can then share the burden of the, of, of the journey and uh, to found the company is quite a big and a tough journey. So some investors, uh, they like that you have a team. So it's also maybe important to find co-founders. But I also work a lot with scientists who found the company. So for them then it's very important how to bring competences into their team, how to find a co-founder or maybe also how to hire people. But very important team, diversity of a team is very important. Also to have the different competences in the team can be very helpful. But the team is of utmost importance and is a key point if a business angel is looking to your company. The second point is the business model. This is, can also be important. Some uh, investors and business angels are looking at what is now going on, you know, and we always have also these waves. There was a blockchain wave and now there is an artificial intelligence wave, whatever. Nobody knows what he's speaking about, but everybody's investing into it. So this can be very interesting, but I recommend you strongly if you can link your business model maybe to the public agenda. What do I mean with this? In these days, climate change is very, very important. Every newspaper, every media, everybody's speaking about it. So if you can link it, your business model, to these points, to, this, to these priorities, then it can be very helpful also to get the attention of investors. And sometimes it's really, you only have to change a little bit your story to fit into this. Another point is that some business angels invest only in things they understand. Uh, I'm uh, of this kind. I really would like to understand business models before I invest into it. Others, they look for a co-investor who is an expert in this vertical, maybe in this industry, and others are then only putting their money into it. But it's important to understand it. And your business model, you have to be aware what you want to achieve. It's a big difference if you have a B2B, a B2C, or a B2B2C business model. And there are also different, uh, different kind of investors who are attracted by the other or the, or the other st uh, stuff. But what is very important is also to understand that at the end it's important if you want to raise an exit or if you want to grow a small or medium uh, sized company. Some investors are really looking for exits and if you are a B2C model, normally uh, you are exit driven. But especially in the B2B area, you also can develop maybe a small and medium sized company and investors are also uh, interested in this. But you should be clear that the case of your business model or the kind of your business model is also stamping the, the kind of business angels you are finding and you have to be aware from the very beginning what you want to achieve. The third point is close, close to the market. So it's a big difference if you are a scientist who has made a very nice, nice uh, invention or if you are maybe a former manager who is founding a company. And this is not, you know, absolute important, but this, if you have some guys in your environment who can show that you are, have closeness to the market, this can be very helpful. If you have an uncle in this industry, 
you are developing a business model, please put him in the advisory board and say, and uh, you know, this is a guy who has 100 years of experience in this or that industry. This can be very helpful. So if it's possible, think on that in your story, bring in this competence and show that there is also a readiness or a closeness to the market in general. Another point is cooperation readiness. This is maybe sounds a little bit strange, but for especially if you have a corporate venturing company who is investing in you uh, or a corporate, you have to show that you are ready. You have to show that you are able to manage a project in the time properly, uh, that you are not uh, you know, a crazy inventor or a total nerd who cannot stick to timetables, who cannot manage, who cannot communicate. This can be quite interesting. And I know quite some investors who check this. Uh, when, you, when you fix times, uh, when you fix meetings, when you develop project plans and you don't stick to the timelines, you don't show up and stuff like that, for them this is a signal that you are not corporate ready, that you are not ready to really develop this company. So it's very important that you are aware of this and that you stick to your timetables, that you are able to manage your uh, homework. Otherwise, this can be a spoiler for a potential investor. If you do have some very important reference clients, this can be very helpful and a big door opener. Because if you work with a client, and this can be very helpful here in Europe, that for example, that you win some clients here in Europe, I'm sure it will be much easier then for you to go back to China or Singapore when you could say one of the big guys here in Europe where you, we have a very high quality approach in the business relations that then you also can uh, show that you can work with them, that you can fulfill uh, the expectations in you. This is very, very important and can be very helpful. So don't forget to name reference customers or your very important clients. And to some extent it's also a test uh, that you are really able to fulfill your promises, that you are really able to really show this proof of concept because when you handle such sensitive clients, the investor knows that you are able to handle the company in general. The last point is, which is very important is a kind of a strategic fit. I think it's also very important to be aware if the potential client is really fitting to you. This means on the personal level, I said it before, it's important if he's a business angel that you really like to work with this guy, that you can, with, that you can work with this guy uh, and that you are able uh, to, to also maybe have some tough fights with him, but at the end that you can work it out. On the, on the strategic level, it's quite important also that you are aware Maybe this is a family-owned company, your corporate investor. You can also work out with them the problems or it's a huge corporate and we will come to this later on. So this strategic fit is very important also to be aware in which stage you are and what really could, could you bring to the table. If you find out maybe that this company is looking by heart for new business models, if you uh, find out that in their accelerator program they are looking all the time for new product ideas or process ideas, this could be the entry point for your product and then you could also win, it, win this guy as a corporate partner or as an investor. So be aware that you do the homework, that you check what are they looking for. If you discuss with business angels, there's the possibility there are a lot of umbrella organizations, for example, in Austria, the Austrian Angel Association, Business Angel Association, where they exactly know which guys are interested in which area. So they, for example, they know that I'm interested a lot in retail, but also now in some technology stuff. And when they get a, a pitch from a startup, they send it to me. So there, when you have your idea, when you have your idea about a business angel, when you have developed a profile, this is very important, what the guy should bring to the table, then you can search for, for them. And this can mean then that you have a perfect strategic fit because when you work out this profile, you will maybe find out there are only 10 guys around here in Europe and searching for them is much easier than running around and saying, hey, I need some money.